Hey everyone, Tapdog here with Little Alchemist Helper, and I am jumping back into my new beginner's guide for the Little Alchemist Remastered game. And uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit more about what do you do when you first start playing the game? What's your goal? What are you trying to accomplish? And uh, kind of like, you know, what? how do you start out? So uh, we're going to jump into the game now. And uh, as you remember, I, I really didn't do anything on the last episode. I just kind of showed you guys how all the controls work in this game. And so um, this time I'm jumping in. My research has been completed. I have not touched this since the last video, so nothing has done. I haven't done anything because I wanted to show you kind of what I do and how I play the game. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is actually jump in here and, and finish my research that I have done. Um, that's a really good combo to start this game off with, so I'm glad I have that. Um, when you're first trying to figure out what to research, it's important to actually look at the cards that are in your deck. So I'm going to go to the Edit Deck option here, and I'm going to sort these by Rarity. So the top cards here are um, just some random Final Form cards that they, they give you at the start of the game. Um, so I have three of those in here that are that uh, gold variety. Then I have several silver combo cards here. Most of them are level 1. The magic's level 2, it looks like. And got a superhero and a sword. And then I got a couple more final forms here with the uh, silver ones. And then I get down to the bronze combo cards and bronze final form cards. Now, short term, those bronze final form cards are going to be helpful and useful while I'm trying to figure out and research all my combos. But long term, I'll probably be taking them out. Uh, because they're not used long term. In fact, most of the cards that I have that are final forms, I won't be using. And again, final forms have the letter F on the card. A combo card has a letter C. Combo cards combine together to make a stronger fused card. And final form cards um, just get played as is. Um, if you get two of the same, you can actually fuse them together and ha they have a special ability. Um, but let me go down to my library to see what other cards I have. Now, these ones are actually really strong, but you can kind of see they're grayed out. You earn these through the arena system, and so I don't have access to any of those currently. But it looks like I do have a level 2 Earth and a baseball bat. And it looks like I already have three copies of Earth in my deck, so I'm going to sort this alphabetically. Find one of my level 1 Earths. Oh, gosh. Uh, we'll put that one in first. Then I will take out uh, one of these Earths and put in the other Earth, just because that's a level 2. Um, and I, really, the only extra card I have right now is that extra Earth. So this deck is not ideal. Some of the benefits it does have going for it is that quite a few of these cards do combo with themselves. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm gonna, one of the first things I'm gonna be trying to do is get rid of a lot of these duplicates. Like, this is too many trees. <laughs> and metal is actually probably a good one to keep because it has some really good combos with magic and with wizard. Um, and then these earths do combine together, so I'm okay with keeping those. Golem's a strong defensive card. Bat's the other one I'll probably need to get rid of some of these over time because they're not the greatest. This is just knowledge I have from my experience playing the game, but you can learn a lot of that as you're doing your research for your card cards and their combos. Um, so, the first thing you should do is you go to adventure mode here, and I've got six energy. I'm going to actually try to open up as much of this map as I can. Um, that's a good strategy now. Previously, we had said to, to kind of hold off and, and not beat the last person in the church because that opens up the events. But now the events are on a global timer, meaning that everyone plays the same events at the same time. So you're just missing out on them if you don't start them right away. Whereas previously in the old game, it was um, originally the first time you played was the only time you could play it. So I'm looking at my hand right here, and I don't know what combos I've researched yet. <laughs> um, I do know that at level three, I get a second research slot. Um, which will be helpful to me, but I, I'm i going to redraw because I don't really think this hand's that great, and you can do that. Sometimes it helps you out. It looks like I've not researched Wizard and Golem yet, which was my only available combo here because Golem and Golem don't make a combo, and then these two cards are final forms. So since I um, can't play any of the combo cards, I'm going to go with my strongest final form card, 
And this is just trying to tell me that uh, this card is a final form, but it doesn't say what it can actually be, which is kind of funny. I thought it might say its ability, but um, I don't get any orbs because I didn't play a combo card, so I just had had a card as an 8-8. Now, Bat and Golem do make a combo, and it looks like it's researched, so that's great. I'll play that. And now this is going to go up to a 6 and a 9 because of that first Enchanter. You don't have to use Enchanter. Um, I I just started with Enchanter, so I'll, I'll swap over to the other two just um, so you can see as I continue playing. Now, Metal and Wizard make a great combo, but I'm going to guess that's not researched yet. Yeah, it's not. So I think that's probably going to be... Uh, researching Metal is going to be my first priority here. But I can at least do this Metal Golem combo. And it's always good to continue doing combos if you can because that's going to increase your card's attack and defense when you're Enchanter. Or if you're playing the other two, it's either going to heal you or it's going to do damage to your opponent. So the more you can do that, the better. And it looks like Human and Metal have been researched, so I'm going to do that. So again, now it's going up to a third time, so this will be five and this will be six. And it looks like I didn't do any damage, unfortunately, because Vlad played a pretty good card there. Now, I might get to a spot like this where Metal and Wizard haven't been researched yet, so I'm not going to play Metal or Wizard by themselves. Instead, I'm going to use one of my Final Form cards, and I'll use Caveman because it has the maximum attack of the three options I have. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, it looks like I'll be able to get his health down just a little bit further here. Now he's down to three health left. Uh... And then hopefully this knight will finish him, but we'll see. It might have to do a little bit more damage. Yeah, I'm going to have at least one more turn, unfortunately. And I'm, I'm going to take a little bit of damage for the first time. But that's okay, because now I've got four of my orbs filled in. I don't think any of these silver combos have been researched yet. A lot of times those take uh, level two of the card to research, and I'll show you that with research after this round. Uh, I'm going to use the Wervin because it has the highest attack available of my cards, and that will win this round for us. And I'm hoping that'll be enough to level me up, but maybe I'll have to play a couple more rounds to get leveled up to three. I got a little bit of gold, which is great, and it looks like it took me about a third of the way up, so maybe two more battles will get me all the way up. But Vlad's now been defeated, so which means Harmony is available. But I'm actually going to go and do my research to kind of show you how this works. So um, I mentioned silver cards are going to be a little bit more powerful, the bronze, and then obviously gold are more powerful than the silver, and then the onyx cards are more powerful than them. But if I cl click on this magic, it looks like I can combo with superhero. Chinchilla can go with Wizard. I'm just trying to see what my co available combos are. Human doesn't have that many great combos uh, at the start. Uh, let me look at Superhero. I think that can combo with Wizard, but I'd really like to do as many combos as I can with these cards I have three copies of. So that's why I want to start with Metal. But it looks like in order to do that, I need to make Metal be level two. So... Here's what we're going to do. I have enough money to buy one pack. I'm going to buy a pack. And I got a Pegasus. And so I'm going to go back to upgrade cards and I'm going to recycle. Okay, it's going to make me recycle this Earth card. Okay, so I got one there. You can also recycle upgrade boost or even more dust. Here's one for free. Look at that, it gave me a free upgrade boost. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, so with that, now I'm going to click Upgrade. I'm going to sort this alphabetically, and I'm going to type in M for Metal. And here's a Metal. I'm just going to upgrade one of these to level 3. It only takes 3 dust, so now I have 10 dust remaining. Unfortunately, for these cards, like Magic, it actually requires 12 to upgrade it, so I need 2 more dust. Now, I can get one from that Pegasus. So I'll do that, and then I just need a little bit more um, dust and coins, because I don't have enough coins to buy a pack, and I don't have enough dust to level up another one of those silver cards, but you know what? I have enough to actually start my research for metal, and that's the most important thing. So I'm going to come over here, find the metal that's level 2, and now I can combo it with this magic that's level 2. It's a 24-hour combo, so I won't be able to actually use that combo till tomorrow, but... I've got it started, and again, this next one unlocks at level 3, so I'm just going to go back to playing at this point, 
And I'm going to continue trying to unlock more bosses here. We've got Harmony coming up next. And I'll keep this hand because i got a level 2 here. Now, let me just show you the difference in combos. So if I click on this Earth, the level 1 Earth here, you can see when it combos with this dwarf, it makes a level 1 dwarf, or I'm sorry, this human, it makes a level 1 dwarf that's 5 and 8. But if I get this level 2 version here, instead of being 5 and 8, it's now 7 and 10. So as you level up your cards, the combos they create are going to be stronger. I'll show you that again with Earth and Magic here. This makes a golem, which is a 1 and 4. Or if I go over here to this other one, it's now 3 and 6. So the level 2 cards, and as you get higher, they'll get to level 3, 4, and 5. They're a lot stronger. So um, also, a lot of the research can't be done. It's a, it's a, you can only get the, the slowest quality combos when the cards are level 1. At level 2, you can get the 24-hour combos, which are typically gold combos. And then at level 4, you can get the diamond combos. Now, at the start of the game, you're not going to have too many diamond combos available to you because you need to have gold combo cards in order to create diamond combos. But it's a good idea to at least get one of each of your unique cards to level 4 um, so you're ready when you start doing the events to start training up those better combos. And the, the diamond combos actually take 48 hours, so 24 for the gold combos, 48 for the diamond combos. And then the uh, lower quality combos, there's a bronze one that only takes an hour to do, and there's a silver one that takes six hours to do. So um, keep that in mind. Research does become a bottleneck as you gain more and more cards. Um, I personally, I'm just going to start battling here, sorry. Um, I personally recommend holding off on buying additional research slots unless you are paying for packs because long term there's going to be a lot of dead time where you don't have any research being done and you could have saved the uh, gems for those research slots for something else. Now I can combo these together, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing just so I can get Harmony's health down that much faster. So now, again, I'm using Enchanter. I was supposed to swap over to something else, so I apologize. I'll show that in this next battle. But uh, Harmony's been defeated. That was a pretty quick battle for us, so that's good. And we have enough coins now to level up one of our silver cards, so that's what we're going to do. We have unlocked Peter now as well, so that's kind of nice. So I'm going to go back and buy one pack again. Now at the start it is really slow like this. Once you get to level 6 you can speed up your game and you'll find that in the settings. I talked about this in my last video but again um, normal is what it defaults to until level 6 then you can increase to faster fastest so it's a little bit slow here and I do apologize for that. But we're going to click on recycle and even though I don't have a hammer yet I'll get more in the future right now. No. Really? Really? That's what you're going to say? Oh man, I'm sorry. Well, apparently I cannot recycle hammer. That's good to know. <laughs> That's one of those fun things that, that I forgot about the early game. Um, so let me, let me go down here. I'm actually going to add... I don't want to add hammer into my deck because it doesn't have any combos. I can't research with anything. So unfortunately, I'm kind of stuck there. But I am going to swap over to um, Elementalist. So I'll show you how this one works. I earned the avatar for Elementalist by switching to it. So we'll go, we'll go battle Peter. So um, Enchanter, as you saw, increased my attack and defense of my cards. Elementalist is actually going to be doing damage each turn to my opponent. I redrew there because I didn't have any level 2s. I figured it was worth trying to see if I could get one. I didn't, but you know what? This is a good enough combo for me. I'm going to combo these together, and I'll do 1 damage from my Elemental Blast, and then I did another 8 damage with my actual card. Uh, I'll, I'll play this one here because, again, I'm going to do 2 damage no matter what because of my combo meter. And then it looks like I'll do another 5 damage with my actual card. So now, as long as I play any card, I'm going to win. So I'll just play the little android here. And I'll win because of my 2 damage up above, but I'm actually going to do a negative 9 damage to him here. So, uh, Elementalist does make the battles go faster. However, you also lose health potentially faster. Um, 
So that's just something to keep aware. It looks like I got my second research slot now unlocked, so that's great. And then it also looks like my um, goblin is down here, and that's not too far. I don't think I'll be able to get there uh, with the amount of energy I have, but it, it, it is pretty close. And that's the goblins spawn um, every day. Uh, I believe it's at 00, 00 UTC is when the goblin moves, and he could be on this island or he could be on the next island, but you can only access him if you actually are able to get there. So I have quite a ways to go to get to him. I don't know if I'll get there this time, but I do want to just show you a couple more things before I end this video for today. So first I'm going to show you the healer mode. We'll do that, and then I also need to research, open up my second research slot, so I want to do that. Again, I'm going to look at Metal to see if there's any other combos for it, since that's such a great card. It does look like it has a combo with Hammer, which needs to be researched, but I don't have Hammer in my deck right now. I do have Bat, so let's see. Bat and Tree make Baseball Bat. I know that. And then there's Undead. Let me see if I have any other level 2 cards that need to be researched. Earth and Undead. That's actually a really good combo, so I'm going to combo those together. Trying to get some of the higher quality combos out of the way at the start, so that way I can uh, deal more damage as quickly as possible. That, that's my personal preference. Some people like to do the one hour combos so you have less dead hands. That's also a, a viable strategy. Um, whatever works for you uh, in this game, but because I know I won't be playing this account all that often, I'd rather leave it with a 24 hour that I come back to than a um, leave it on an hour one and forget for a couple days or something. All right, so let me show you how the healer um, works here. We're going to go to the second islands here. Now, Dr. Robo is the boss here, and he's actually the most efficient boss uh, when you start playing the game for Dust, um, just because um, as you battle them, they get a little bit stronger, but he gets up to four energy uh, per battle, and it just ends up he's, he's the most efficient to battle. So if you're trying to gather Dust, stick on him for a little bit, and it should work out well. I'm going to keep this, which is a little bit dangerous because I don't know if I have any of these combos yet. Looks like it worked out for us. So on healer, I'm going to heal. So instead of being 30 health, I'm now at 31. Now, in the very first few days of playing, you're probably not going to want to use this healer strategy all that much. Um, only because you're not going to be lacking for health, <laughs> typically. Um, typically, you're, you're going to be having a long fight where you're trying to do damage to your opponent. So um, as you get to a few of the stronger bosses, it could be advantageous to um, use healer if you keep dying to the bosses. Um, but more likely than not, you won't uh, need to use healer for the first week or two of playing. And then hopefully, I think that's probably, oh, I have a really great combo there. So I'm gonna do that combo. I'm glad that one was already researched and known, because that will make me win. <laughs> and that is the round against Jim. So that kind of shows you the three main elementalist types. Um, when I start out, the fastest one I found is elementalist, but you do have the chance to lose if you're playing a little bit too aggressively with your attacks. Uh, Enchanter is kind of a good mix of between the two. And then uh, healer is really only needed if you get to a boss where you just can't beat them because they're doing too much damage to you. But at the first first couple of, of bosses here, you probably don't need that. So I'm just going to play a couple more games here and kind of show you my strategy, what I'm looking for when I'm first starting to play, and uh, what I want to do with my hand. Okay, so I know these combos because I've played this game for a while. Both Metal Human and Metal Golem are defensive combos and golem and human don't make a combo, so I'm going to redraw. This is a much better hand to get. Now here's something else I just want to point out. Metal, it does combo with both magics here, but a level 2 and a level 2 will make the same combo as a level 2 and a level 1. So if you can, always combo the level 1 with the level 2 so you can get the higher combo, and leave the other level 2 for another um, combo later down the line. So I can do this one, it gives me a 10-8, or I can do this one over here and it gives me a 9-1. Um, I'm going to double check this, I've not got any research really with wizards, I'll probably work on that next. But I think I'm going to go with this one since it's the higher combo of the two. It looks like I'm going to do 10 damage total, the one from my 
combo, and then 9 from the card itself. And I think that's probably... This is a 5-6, this is a 6-2. I'm okay with, with being a little bit lower defense there because I have so much health already, and it looks like it didn't really matter there because Olive used a card with only one attack. And then my hope is this next round here will be the winner. That's a 7. And I like to look at all the attacks. I'm not looking at the defense per se right now. That's not as important to me. So that's she's going to have one health left after this battle. And so no matter what I play, as long as it keeps my orbs, I'm going to win here. So I could do this combo with the 6-0. I'm just going to play it safe and play Wyvern. And that will do 3 damage plus my 1 damage from my Wyvern here. So that's a negative 3 total that all it has. And that's beating her. Now I am, again, my strategy is to try to open up as much of this as possible. And uh, part of the reason why is, let me show you, I just got my energy recharge and now I get 7 instead of 6, so that's kind of fun. But if I click back here real quick, um, this is the, the first boss area that we already played through. This is the second one that we're going through right now. There's a third one that's a castle theme, and then there's a fourth one that's a church. Once you beat Bridget, the last boss in the church, you unlock the events, which are right here. And that's that's kind of my goal right now, is I want to be able to get there as fast as possible so I can um, start playing my events. They are the best way to earn um, gold in the game, which means the, the fastest way to get dust in the game. It's also where you can get the free gold combo cards, which are probably, if you're a free-to-play player, one of the best ways to um, play well in this early game. So I will um, think I'll end right there for now, but my strategy and my goal for the next video is going to be to continue going through unlocking the next areas and getting to the event. And hopefully by then I'll have a little bit more research done as well that I can show you guys. But uh, I do hope you enjoyed this kind of starter, showing you how the uh, adventure mode works. Um, again, in my next video, I'll be showing you how the events work, and then also dipping my toes into arena and um, kind of giving you an idea of how that area works. But uh, I do hope you enjoyed this beginner guide series. If you do have any questions, you can always ask us them down in the comments below, or you can join our Discord where we can answer questions for you 24-7. We have a exhaustive FAQ section that answers a lot of the questions you might already have. And uh, if not, you can always ask in the chat and we'll be happy to help you, point you in the right direction on, on uh, any advice you need. So take care, guys. Have a good rest of your day and I will see you real soon.